finished recording the crayon video thing. <laughs> but I can't stop now. I'm on a roll. And this is the second set of art supplies that were given to me by someone I know. Someone who will remain anonymous. <laughs> um, and if you haven't seen the crayon video, you can go watch it. I'm going to put something in the end so you can go see it. <laughs> If you want to, you don't have to. It's not mandatory. It's not a law. Um, anyway, this is the second set of art supplies that are given. And, as you can see, most of these items are from Crayola. And, yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't get any Crayola crayons. The crayons that I got were from Melissa and Doug. That's a company, not people. Well, I don't know. The company might be named after people. <laughs> anyway, these are the supplies that were given to me. We have some oil pastels, which I was excited about because I did not know that Crayola made oil pastels. But I was also nervous about it because oil pastels are not my favorite thing to work with. They make me angry. Because <laughs> they're, they're just, I don't, I don't know. I just need to work on it. I also got some markers, which I've seen people do some interesting things with these markers since they're water-based and some colored pencils and also a eight-piece math set so am i opening from the wrong side no i'm not this can be used though because this is for geometry and you you can you can use this you can put this draw around it and then draw the other side and have a circle or you can not even do that and you can use this. What was this called? I can't even remember. I haven't used one of these in a, in a while. Oops. I want to say it's called a compass, but I can't remember. But how it works is you put your pencil in this part here. You might already know how to do this. Anyway, you put it in there. I'm going to make sure it lines up with this hand. Close it. By screwing this in, it kind of tightens the pencil in there. And I've got this piece of paper that actually has a drawing on it. A crayon drawing. <laughs> and you just... I remember not being very good at doing this, but... You just turn it. Oops. See, that's that was my problem. I, I have trouble keeping it where it's supposed to be. Stay. Stay, folks. It, it's supposed to work. I just don't know what I'm doing. I have trouble. I've always had trouble with these, but yeah, you've, you've seen, you've probably seen. You just do this. Maybe if I put my finger in here, that'll help. Or if I turn the paper. Yeah, turning the paper helps. But it helps you draw a circle, and that's pretty useful in geometry where you deal with a lot of circles and such. So, that's what that is. And... I don't know, I might challenge myself and use that today. But I'm going to be focusing mainly on the Crayola stuff. Because that's, that's what we're here for. And I, I'm guessing an eraser went here. It also comes with a pencil sharpener. Which I might use in my pencil case. Which I mentioned in my last video. Sort of, kind of. That I wanted to use more stuff in my sketchbook. So I'm going to try to include more things in my pencil case. And some of these might find their way into that pencil case. Probably not these, because I've worked with these before, and they were kind of messy. So, yeah, I'm just going to open. They're, they're already open. But this is them. They're not new. I, I like these two. That's what I'm going to say. I like these two. Especially this green. It's called sea green. I think it's really pretty. And I think this pink, which is called pink, <laughs> I think it's nice. And this peach color, that's, those are, those are pretty. And it also comes with some metallic colors, a gold and a silver. This one's called goldenrod, but I don't think it's metallic. But these two, they are. I can see the sparklies. Can you see the sparklies? They smell like, they smell like, what do they smell like? They, I guess, they kind of smell like crayons, but they don't. And I don't even know if I should be sniffing those. Oh, I did this the first time. They don't go on my fingers. Okay. 
And we have some markers. And it's the classic color set. In kind of a way, I checked to see if these were used. I didn't pull them out because if I had a pen, I would have seen the color at the end. But I had to, I had looked at the yellow <laughs> to see if it had like um some black on the tip. And it kind of does, but that's okay because it can still cut. Well, I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. It might dry. It might be dried up. I don't know. But yeah, Crayola markers. And I'm gonna put them in here. And up here it says, classic colors for drawing and coloring. Hmm, so exciting. <laughs> and these are just color pencils. And it has some something on the back. S techniques, stipple and hatching. Fun drawing idea. Using the stipple and hatching technique, you can produce... Huh? You can produce a range of patterns? Am I, maybe I'm just reading it wrong. You can produce an range of patterns, or you can produce a range of patterns. I don't know, that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, here's the list of the colors. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's blurry because I have it on, um, like my focus on lock, so it won't do stuff while I'm drawing. <laughs> but it's yellow, orange, red, orange, red, yellow, green, green, sky blue, blue, violet, light brown, brown, and black. So, yep, it's 12 pencils, bright, intense colors. Yeah. It doesn't say yeah, I included that. <laughs> um, and like I did in my crayon video, I went ahead and, and got something like I went ahead and drew something but the problem I have with the crayons is that the paper which I that I use which is Bristol was too smooth so hopefully this is not too smooth and because I'm going to be using those markers which are water based I'm going to be using some water to see if I can get some watercolor effects oh my hands hurt my hands hurt <laughs> okay and I am using Bristol. Bristol is a thick, or paper, thicker paper. Um, but it's not necessarily watercolor paper. But, I'm trying to reach my brush. <laughs> but, it, I mean, I've used watercolor on Bristol before, and I even made a video about it. I'm not saying you have to watch it, I'm just saying I made it. <laughs> and if I recall correctly, I said I didn't really care for it that much. Though, um, when I did my, well, if you've seen my channel trailer, I actually did that with, I did that on Bristol board. Oh, the drawing I did in my channel trailer. Right. No, it's not my channel trailer. What am I talking about? It was, it was a recent video. Um, I think it was called Art Chat Question Mark. <laughs> um, and I... I used Bristol for that. I don't think I mentioned that in the video. I used Bristol and I like how it turned out and look at it now. Turned out pretty good. I got some cool texture with it. And now we're going to do this and I'm going to flip the crayon drawing over and do swatches on the other side. Oh my god, I was going to put crayon on this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is my scratch paper for ideas and such. <laughs> and I've had this for years. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna flip that over, and I have all this stuff over here, but it's okay. And I'm gonna test out these pastels. I'm gonna try out the ones I said I like. The sea green, and the pink. And the reason why I've had trouble with these in the past is because they're soft. They're really soft. Not soft as in like squishy soft, but soft as in like they go down really easily. And I had trouble blending them and such. And I'm kind of heavy handed when I work, so that also kind of contributed to the... Wow, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to use those colors for a background. For a sky like thing. And I, I also like that it has paper on the outside. 
Because they are soft and they will come off on your hand. I'm blending with white. <laughs> that actually works pretty good. That's nice. I'm using those three for a background. I'm not going to use it for her skin. Those are going to be back. I probably should set this towards the beginning, but this is going to be real time. So, um, I'm going to try this peach color. Oh, they're also, so on the package, hexagonal shape. Oh, probably should, like, before I use these on my final drawing, make sure I get the, the colors that aren't supposed to be there off. <laughs> I like this. This is also a nice color. I might use it in the... Yeah, I'm gonna use that in the background. My hands feel like they have stuff on them. I'm gonna use this green yellow. Not in the picture, I just wanna test it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna test these metallic ones. They are kinda shiny. Well, this gold one is, it's kinda shiny. That's cool. I don't even know if you can see it, but that is, that's cool. I'm gonna use that one too. How about this, this silver? Are you shiny? Silver, you're not shiny. It's not as shiny as the gold. You let me down. How could you? Yeah, the gold is definitely shinier than this one. I don't know why they didn't put as much glitter in this one as in the gold one. I don't know. I'm getting oil pastel on my fingernails. I, I want the shiny. Where's the shiny? It's not in there. It looks like it's shiny. Like I see glitter in the actual crayon. Well, pastel. <laughs> but I can, it's not producing any of the shiny, you know? I want the shiny. This is the color goldenrod. That is a nice color. I'm checking to see if it's shiny. It's not shiny. <laughs> is, it, is there a Prussian? Prussian is... I like the name of Prussian Blue. I guess this is kind of similar to Prussian Blue. I'm not going to use it, though. This is called Midnight Blue. But, yeah, those are the pastels, and I've already picked the ones I'm going to use. I'm going to try not to get them on my desk, because they are... Yeah, the white got off on my black desk a little bit. I'm going to use those. And I put it on wrong again. I, I feel like it should just be square, so you won't have that problem. Uh, putting that behind me. <laughs> you can't see it. That gold, really. I like that gold. Um, I don't like the, sh the color, but I like the sparklies. Because I, I don't really like... The, well, I, it's like the color gold is it's okay. Especially not greenish gold. I don't like greenish gold. I, I'm more of a rose gold kind of gal. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try these colored pencils, and I'm going to leave the markers for last. And starting out, I didn't use Crayola brand colored pencils. I used um, Artist Loft colored pencils. And I think they were watercolor pencils, though I had tried to use them as watercolor pencils once, and it didn't work. But that's what they were, and yeah. What's this color? It's red! It's nice. It seems to work well with the paper because the paper's smooth. Oops, I touched the Prussian. It's not Prussian. Midnight Blue swatch and the solo pastel. And it kind of got on my finger and I was able to rub it there. So, Ooh, I'm going to try that. I did this with the crayons. I'm sick, so I have tissue on my desk. But... I, with the crayons, I used the tissue to smudge it. That works with these. That's good to know. I'm going to use that in the background. I'm going to do it this guy. Can these blend? That's a question I have now. I feel like they do blend pretty decently. I like that. That's nice. What color is this? It looks like it's sparkly. Why? Why do you confuse me? Oh, it feels... Maybe it's just something... I don't know. 
some of these kind of look like something's gone into the lid. It's like this white film on it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah, these work really well on this paper. I think I might put these in my, my pencil case. Because I like them. These are nice. These are like some of the nicest um, color pencils I've worked with. As far as like children's or yeah children's color supplies go these are these are nice i like these i can't i don't know if i've ever used these before but i do remember this one time i was like i want to try my bows <laughs> but i didn't get any i think these i'm going to use these two um for the skin i wish this one which i guess if you press lighter you can get a lighter color but I just wish maybe it was a little, like they, there were lighter colors in the set, which I'm pretty sure if I got a larger set of Crayolas, I could get, could, could get some lighter colors. But these are nice. I like these. These are going in my pencil case. And last but not least, wait, I gotta pick the color I'm gonna use. <laughs> um, this was red and this was, one of these was kind of pinkish. Red, orange. What's this? The red orange is kind of pinkish. Maybe it, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. I notice there's not a white in here, though I do know that with because that's what it is. The lid is harder than like with Prismacolors. The lid is soft, but the lid is harder with these and with harder color pencils. Um, whites and lighter colors don't really work that well. But this yellow works amazing, and I. I feel like a white should be in this set, though I've seen plenty of white crayon jokes saying that the white crayon is useless. <laughs> but the white oil pastel, that was pretty. No, drop one! That's like, that's like crayon pencil 101, never drop it. But I dropped it. I have failed. <laughs> I hope that one dropped again. I'm probably going to leave this yellow and this orange. Out. I'm gonna use that. And put this behind me. You were not sheesh. And I'm gonna pull out these ones, the markers. Hey, I was just thinking how I was saying I wish I had lighter colors with the color pencil. But I have got I have these and I can use these like watercolor. And okay, my Karataki Gunsight Candy watercolors came with this little plastic thing. And I did a review of this palette, and I had said something about not knowing if it was supposed to be thrown away. But I'm glad I didn't, because I'm going to use it now. But one thing I did have a problem with with this thing is that when I'm filming, you can kind of see me sometimes. And this one particular video, like, my mouth kept moving, and I wasn't talking to anyone. I don't know why my mouth moves when I draw. That's just a thing that I do. I don't know. Wait, I, I do like when I'm concentrating or thinking really hard. I like, I don't know, just move my mouth a lot. <laughs> oh, that was darker, that looks darker than I expected, and it did come off on my finger. I'm going to clean this. There's a smell. <coughs> markers with smells, well, most markers with smells, because I have smelled some markers. Well, I'm not just sitting around sniffing markers, don't do that. <laughs> But I smell some markers that aren't the pleasant. Um, oh, that that does some sort of blending. This yellow feels kind of dried out. Can I revive it in, by dipping it in water? Can it be done? It can! I revived it just by dipping it in my water just a little bit. I feel like maybe I should give it another dunk. And like put the cap on and do this. I'm setting it up right. And let it do something. Because <laughs> I just dipped it once and it came back to life. It came back from the dead. This orange, if I, it seems like it was tainted with another color. It's a nice orange. Just kind of, especially when I mix it with the yellow, it's kind of like a burnt orange color, which is nice. There's red. Red needs help. 
Wow, that really worked. Just dipping it in the water. Just a little bit helps kind of bring the marker back. That's cool. That is cool. Oh, I like this blue. It's really pretty. I feel like this blue and this purple might be good for doing like galaxies. Galaxy. Galaxies are cool. Yep. I'm going to try this brown. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't think I like this brown that much. Black. Black has kind of got some green undertone thing going on. See that? It's kind of green. It's like a dark green. I find that to be the case with some water-based black markers. So it, yeah. I'm cleaning marker off my finger. Get marker on my finger. And I'm going to test the watercolor feature, which isn't like a, something they say on the box. Watercolor feature included. <laughs> That's not on there. But I do know I've seen some people do that before. And I'm going to try to make a brown because I don't really care for this brown. It's kind of got some green thing going on. Which, as far as browns go, that kind of triggers me. <laughs> and I'm going to use this brush, dip it in some water, and use it like watercolor. That's cool. That is really cool. That works. See if I can lift. I can lift color too. That's cool. So I might use that the way you use watercolor pencil. You just kind of just color and then you wet it with a brush. I'm going to do that. That's that's a cool. I like that. That's. Dude, I don't know. These might be going in the pencil case. <laughs> so I tested the supplies and I'm going to go ahead and pick the ones. I like this one for skin. Might include the red for skin as well. Or I might just use. Yeah, I'm going to include that. So, am I going to use this black? Uh, no, I will not use the black. So, those are the colors. I'm going to use, well, no, I'm going to get some more of the oil pastel. Get a black and maybe a brown for the hair that I'm going to be coloring. Mm -hmm. What's this color? This color caught my attention. That's nice. One thing I will say about oil pastels is that they, they go on really easy. You don't have to do much to make it do something. Like, I'm barely touching the paper. And then this is me pressing down hard. So, it, it does it does nice. This is the color that catches my attention. It's apricot. Was it apricot? Apricot or apricot? Which do you say? What did, what did I say first? Apricot, apricot. I don't know which one I said. I'm assuming both are right. Okay. So. Uh, they're, they're messy. They're getting on my fingers. It's one of the things I don't like about oil pastel. <sighs> messy, messy, messy. But yeah, I've tried them. I've picked my colors. And I'm going to use them. And there's my sketch. I'm going to try not to get the oil pastel on this my fingers or on this to mess it up and it comes with the compass like I, I kind of showed earlier hmm, do I want to use this to draw the circle or the actual compass because you saw me struggling with that because like I said I that's not really something I've ever really gotten <laughs> good at <laughs> um Okay, I'm going to put my purple, well, lavender, purple color pencil. Why did I put it back? I need you. I need you. Instead of using the pencil that came with this, I'm going to be using my purple pencil since my sketch is purple. And also because I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to mess it up. But you can pretty much put any pencil in here. It's, it's adjustable. You can just twist that little screw. So I'm going to try my best with this. Just got to make sure the point stays where it's supposed to be. Oh, I had tried turning the paper. But this is a bigger circle, and this is also a bigger sheet of paper. 
with a bigger pencil. I just like making things harder for myself at least. Oops. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did it! I did it! This is a useful tool. If you're an artist and you struggle with circles, get you one of these. They're really helpful, as you can see. And I had trouble earlier, but I got it. I got it that time. And I was able to do a circle. Thanks. I didn't draw her clothes. I'm just gonna have a thing here. Sweater. Boom. I like drawing sweaters. They're cool. I like wearing sweaters, too. What's her hair doing? Okay. I'm finished sketching. Amira, come on. You gotta finish sketching. Okay, now I'm finished sketching. Okay, now I'm finished sketching. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do the oil pastels last because they are kind of messy. And I'm gonna mix a uh, watercolor <laughs> skin color over here. Put a lot of this here down on this paper. Mix orange. And these are these are the colors I used from my primer marketing confections set to mix colors. I just use the brown that comes with it, um, some red, and sometimes some of the orange. So that that's how I mix brown. Okay. I, I like warmer brown, so I think that's why I didn't really like that brown that much. Why didn't it drop? Oh, it dropped the swipe. Yeah. I put something wet. <laughs> oh no, it was a little pastel. Why do they feel wet and cold? Why do you feel wet and cold? I think I like that brown. This one. Yeah, I like that brown. That's a nice brown. That would be her skin. I'm gonna put this up here so you can't see me move my mouth wide. <laughs> Though I'm gonna be talking, so. You move your mouth while you talk. You're supposed to. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Real time watercolor. I've never done a real time watercolor video. Because I, I thought about doing it, but then I was like, would that take a while? Because watercolor's gotta dry and all that sort of thing. But I guess I could just pause the video, pause the recording while I, um, see, this is the problem with doing real time. I can't, well, I can, but it's just difficult to talk while I do what I'm doing. What was I saying? Oh, yes. I guess I could just pause the recording while it dries and then come back when it, when it's back, when it's dry. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Those might go in the pencil case of destiny. That's really cool. Maybe we can do that. Wonder how I'll get lighter. Not lighter. Darker values. I think I'll, yeah, I'll do that with the coloring paper. This is fun. I'm having fun. I like this. <laughs> Crayola, these are, these are good, Crayola. You're doing a great job over there. <laughs> Which I guess if you've lasted this long, you're doing something right. You're doing an amazing job, Crayola. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah, I think for when I'm um, looking for supplies for my pencil case, I might, I might look at Crayola. Maybe they could tell that for me over there. Cause I like this. This is nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, if you're looking into getting into watercolor, but you're not sure if you want to invest in watercolor, watercolor, watercolor is not a thing <laughs> in a watercolor set, try try doing this with the um, Crayola markers. Um, I'm guessing I'll work with other water-based markers. Yeah, to kind of just kind of test it out before you invest. In it. Though you can get cheap watercolor, so you can do you can do what you want. <laughs> but yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. I like this, and it's it's easier because I don't have to worry about cleaning my brush off 
but I, I still gotta clean my brush off, but like cleaning my brush off to get a new color to mix a color. I just kind of just drew it on the little plastic and just mixed it with water and that was it. That is so cool. That is cool. I want more of these. That looks nice. I like that. I'm gonna put some red in here to do some blush and to color her lips. I'm going to test this color. Yes, that's a nice um, color. <laughs> oh, I had meant to like keep that tail spot on her nose. Oh, I, I really like this. <laughs> this is really fun. I love you, Crayola. <laughs> This is really cool. I like this. This is this is really cool. I just keep doing the same thing over again, but it's it's really really cool. That's nice. I like this. I don't even want to use anything else. I just want to use these markers. That's nice. That is nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> or should, I should say main because that's that's a thing you say where I live a lot. Hey, main. <laughs> Oh, I, I just, I love these markers a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Though I do think I will use the colored pencils to get some darker values. That's, that's cool. I like these. <laughs> and I think the paper that I'm using Bristol, it this it's doing good with this. It's doing good. That's not a proper right now. It's it's it works well with this. <laughs> okay, so her skin is partially done. It has to sit. Um it has to dry, that's what I mean. <laughs> um hmm. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Don't no, just kidding. I'm going to go ahead and color parts of her hair with this. I am going to use the oil pastel for her hair, I think. But I'm just going to kind of like do this base here. And if you were to do this and do it with not going over it with something like I am, I would suggest you follow the path of the hair. Like the hair's going this way, color that way. But since I'm going to color over it and kind of correct that, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I wonder if these are water soluble. I probably should have tested that as well. I can test it now since I'm waiting for that to dry. It's, it's partially dry. That's how you check it. Just put your finger on it. <laughs> I mean a little bit. It's not really budging that much. And it also might be the color of the water. Because the water's kind of turned color a little bit. But it doesn't really budge. So. I guess it's good to know. I've got some more stuff to color over here. I really like the soft look of it. Of her face, that is. Uh, her face still kind of wet. So it, that... that that's just ripping the paper stamp while I'm out of here. <laughs> and I'm going to darken this so I can remember that's where that stops and where that begins. So, kind of doing minor, but kind of not. And then that goes over there. <laughs> this is actually fun talking while I'm drawing, even though it is kind of like, I get distracted while I'm talking. Because I'm talking. But it is fun. I really like that face. Those Crayolas. You are. You are amazing. I love you. Oh, and yes. I The red was kind of dried out. And I dipped it in water. And put the cap on it. And set it up like this. And that did bring it back. So. 
I guess that's one of the cool things about water soluble markers. Water based markers, dip it in water. It revives it if it's dried out. Though I think if it's like if it's dried out because you've used it, I don't don't think you should try that. No. <laughs> uh I think I'm gonna this just can I can I do this? The paper is it's not it doesn't feel wet to the touch, but it's I can tell that it's not exactly dry at the moment. I'm gonna do a little something, something, something for her eyelashes. I'm not done with the skin either. I'm gonna actually might. My... I'm gonna grab these again. I'm gonna use this black in here because I I, I want to use just the Crayola supplies. Well, I I, I use the Prismacolor color erase, but that's all. I'm not gonna use anything else except for maybe. Well, I guess I could also use my my pencil sharpener that I got. As well, I don't have to use my Mitsubishi KH20 2000. This thing is good. You should, like, if you're looking for a nice manual pencil sharpener, this one's good. It's Mitsubishi KH20 2000. It's good. I like it. And I need to empty out the little tray down here. It looks like it has bunny ears. It's like an android. Yeah. Anyway. Stop getting distracted by things. I really like how this is turning out so far. I like the soft look of it. This is a nice. These supplies are nice. I'm running into a problem. And it might be because the paper is not completely dry. So it might not really be an issue. Um, I can't really color over her nose. I want to color her nose, or over here either, I'm having a little trouble getting the, lid, the, the color down. Uh, lead, lead. If it were lead, lead, I would probably be getting poisoned now, and that wouldn't be fun. I like this. I really like these supplies. They're going in my, my pencil case, definitely. Let's see if it works down here. Yeah, I think... Either the paper's not really dry, it does feel kind of funny. Maybe it's just me, you, you can only put s certain things down. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm having a little trouble. I don't really use black looks, so it's brown, so I don't think so. Because I'm, I'm liking the soft look and I want to keep that. So. Let's see this. I'm trying to kind of redefine the nose. I'm having trouble. But you can you can tell there's a nose there. Right? Maybe I guess my way to kind of test to see if it's Yeah, I think maybe putting the the marker down and then the color pencil is not the best way to do it. So it doesn't really matter. It does go on somewhat. Yeah, I was able to do that. My camera stopped recording. My camera stopped recording. But this is what I've done so far. And what I was saying when I thought it was recording was I, it looks kind of like finding Waldo because of the shirt. <laughs> um, I don't know why. It seems like because I'm recording on my phone and it seems like whenever I get a Facebook notification, it cuts off. I don't really use Facebook that much. I can't do Facebook. I can't do it. <laughs> no, I'm not doing Facebook. I don't go on there for fun. <laughs> I go in there to post and leave. <laughs> I, I just, I, I'm really not a fan of Facebook. But anyway, we're going to do her hair and then the background. So, and her hair was going to be done with, wait a minute, I was going to use this. What am I going to use this for? Oh, I'm going to use this to outline the circle when I'm finished. So, I'm going to try to do some cool stuff with these oil pastels, which, no, I feel like I should go from dark to light. Um, I have tried to work with oil pastels before, and it didn't, it didn't end well. 
I don't even know what happened to the drawing. I just it was not actually now that I think about it, I might know where it is, but it was it was not my best work. <laughs> Which is kinda of to be expected when you're working with the new medium, but I remember those those not good. I they they made me angry. <laughs> so I haven't really used them since then. But I feel like they, they, f like, when I hold it in my hand, and I try to color with it, it feels like it could be something really fun and easy to use. But, like I said, I've had problems with it, so. Those, 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 that, that's deceiving. It's not as easy as it looks. At least for me, because I'm pretty sure. Now, I know there are some people out there who can use oil pastels and have no problem with it at all. I am not one of those people. <laughs> um, because sometimes I can be a little heavy handed when I, when I draw, so. I'm trying to be kind of light. But since it's so soft, even when I'm doing light, because like, right now I'm not really pressing that hard, but it's still pretty dark. And you get a lot down. So you just have to, I guess, figure out how to control, control the power. <laughs> and I had mentioned this. I like that it has the paper on the outside. I think that's nice. To include. <laughs> so we're going to just do this. And now I'm going to use this brown. Kind of blend it. I guess that's that's pretty decent, I guess. I think the most... I probably should have did the background first, now that I think about it, because that's going to be done with the pastel as well. It, it feels really nice. They feel really nice to, to color with. I will say that. I did not know Crayola did oil pastels. When I think Crayola, I think, um, like, markers and crayons and colored pencils and, um watercolor, but I don't really think, oh, and, and color, Jeez. <laughs> but I don't really think about oil pastels, so that was like, oh, oh. I thought it was a box of crayons, and I was like, what? Oil pastels, I don't care. What that, what, what was this? <laughs> it, it doesn't really match her face, I will say that. Just the way I colored her, it doesn't really match her face. I'm going to use this, that is marker, <laughs> um, I'm going to use this to kind of try to blend it. Hmm, that works to some degree. <laughs> I think that makes it kind of fit better with her, with her face, because the, the markers, the way it colored the face. It looks really soft, and I want to keep that soft look. I feel like I would use this to kind of blend out her hair. I don't know if I did that right. I'm going to try to use some of this pink in here to kind of warmen it up a little. It's not warm, because <laughs> it looks kind of gray. It's I'm going to try to clean it off because I don't want to use it on the sky. I don't want to get black from the sky. That's that look I'm going for. I'm going to kind of go on the outside of it as well. Okay. I think that looks pretty decent. Yeah. That looks pretty decent. Um, I'm going to just kind of here. That it it doesn't look amazing, but it's not that bad. So that's something. That is something. I think I like her face more though. <laughs> and now for the face. I'm gonna do like a this is sea green. I was gonna say teal, but it's sea green. I'm gonna do like a sky type thing. 
I said this in my last video, I think. Um, that's the one thing about doing it back to back. I can't remember. Did I say it in this one or did I say it in the last one? Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, I've been taking a lot of pictures of sunsets because they're just, they're just really pretty. And I might paint some. I might, I'm not sure yet. Might paint the pictures I see. <laughs> I'm going to use this white to blend. Yeah, I'm kind of blending just by like kind of dragging out the color. Um, it doesn't really go with a shirt. I probably should have chosen a different color for her shirt, I think. But it's just too cute. Can I make some cloudies? I don't want to get close to her face, too close to her face. Oh, I missed her. I miss her. Okay. And, oops, I'm getting it on my desk. I do really, really, really appreciate the paper on, the, on them. <laughs> I think it makes it less messy. Not the best gradient, but I'm going to cut myself some slack considering the fact that I'm not too great when it comes to. No, this is my watercolor thingy. Goodness, supposed to be this. <laughs> considering the fact that I'm not too great for, too great. This, what a, gosh, I can't talk right now. Um, <laughs> well, pastels, I'm not really good at using them, so considering that fact, this looks pretty decent. I'm going to use this gold to outline this circle. Probably should have. Um, yeah, that works. I really like this gold. I would put it in my pencil case, but it is kind of messy and I don't want it to get all over everything in there. Probably. And plus, I can just see, like, I don't think oil pastels is the best thing to use in my sketchbook. Unless I use Fixer, which I have yet to purchase, so. Probably not. <laughs> I really like the sparkliness of it, though. In here. Okay. I'm gonna sign my name with this here Crayola. And I'm gonna try out that pencil sharpener, because I might put that in my pencil. And I know that's a problem with pet. Some pencil sharpeners like this, this particular type of picture before. They don't really do me too good. It relates to the sharpening of the pencil. I just pulled out a roll of tissue. Yes, I did. <laughs> I've been sick, folks. Get me tricks. Get me some tricks. Okay. I'm going to try this pencil sharpener. What's going on? It feels like the pencil's too small for it. Oh wait, I'm getting something. I'm getting something. Hmm. Yeah, it, it does it. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I just have to kind of break it in, I guess. I'm gonna sign my name. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not March anymore. It's April. Okay. Yeah, I just did that. I'm also going to test it with this pencil. It's already sharpened. I'm going to see if maybe just the... No, I think it's the sharpener. I think it's it's just sharpening just the lid and not the wooden part or something. I don't know. Putting that back in there. I'm going to discard over the tissues. It's related to that. And I'm so tempted to use this, but we're doing Crayolas. We're working with Crayolas. Oh, it works a little now. I guess I just had to dry it a little. I don't want it to be too dark, though. Not too dark. I'm putting my hand all in these oil pastels. It's not too dark. Done. I like
like it. <laughs> Especially her face. That's my favorite part. And I think even though it's not the, a smooth gradient and it doesn't look like, really look like a sky, I do like the little circle thing behind her. So, um, that was the Crayola challenge. <laughs> that was fun. I really, really liked it. Um, my favorite um, supplies to use were the Crayola markers. Definitely. Um, I loved that. <laughs> that was amazing. And I love these pencils. These pencils work great. They're nice. I like them. I love this. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, and I, I do, I literally like these colors. These particular colors in the oil pastels. But, like I said, I'm not really good at working with oil pastels. So, I don't think that part really of the drawing really turned out well. With the exception of the, the circle thing. <laughs> But these ones, these ones are really cute, especially this green, sea green, was it? Or is it sea foam? Oh, it was sea green. Sea green, pink, and gold. These are, these are some nice colors here. Um, anyways, these, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it, so that's okay. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy the rest of your day.